First of all, parents need to know that most sexual assault and sexual predators out there are not the strangers. They are not the cases that make the headlines. They're not the people who are snatching your kids from public places. They are the strangers that we all know. 87 to 92 percent, depending on which statistics you believe, of all sexual assault occur in relationships where the victim knows the perpetrator. So we have to arm our kids with the knowledge that even people we love, even people we know, even people that are in our lives could be people who could hurt them. As a sex crimes prosecutor, kids who don't know the correct names for their body parts and use some unusual name makes it more difficult to be able to prosecute and understand the disclosures that they're making. It's hard as a prosecutor when they're in my office. Imagine if they are disclosing to a teacher. I had a case once where a kid said, Daddy touched my pawn, and pawn in Spanish means bread. And for the longest time, the teachers had no idea that the pawn meant this kid's private part. So if I could give any one tip, it would be to have parents teach their kids the correct names of their body parts so everybody could understand it if they're gonna disclose. Parents should have conversations with their kids as soon as they begin speaking. So when they are getting their kids ready to dress for the summer and putting them in their bathing suits, it's an opportune time to talk about the areas in which the bathing suit covers and the areas where the bathing suit doesn't cover. That's a really easy way to be able to identify private parts. You can have a conversation with your little two-year-old and says, guess what, you're wearing a bikini that covers your private parts. And why is it that it's covered? Because it's a private area, so normal, opportune times or during dress to start those conversations with those little wee ones.